All right, time for a little comic relief. I know we've been talking about some serious topics, but let's have a little fun here. So you guys remember a while back, I had a little debate with uh, the what I call the vegan final boss or the world's smartest vegan or something like this guy named Nick Hebert. And you know, part of that clip ended up making it onto the Joe Rogan podcast where I was on. And so obviously a lot of people were exposed to his what could best be described as little idiocy, you know, his, his sort of advocation for destroying the natural world and replacing it with some, I don't know, concrete jungle or something like that. And then the fact that he seems to need uh, statistical evidence somehow that a cow is indeed, in fact, bigger than a chicken. Um, so anyway, he uh, apparently has kind of deleted most of his social media because of obviously embarrassment, which I think is probably reasonable. But now he is going on uh, and talking about, uh, well, I mean, interesting, he uh, he basically, here's a nice little post from him saying that Joe Rogan is so cringe, right? Joe Rogan's a cringy guy and and on and on, you know, basically an, sort of an insult there. And yet here he is just recently the other day, I was somebody brought this to my attention. Uh, that now he's trying to sort of begging basically to go on the Joe Rogan podcast, uh, you know, trying to go on this cringy guys podcast, right? Uh, by, you know, crowdfunding or whatever to get me on there because I have so much intelligent things to say and Joe would love to have me on there as a guest and I could certainly uh, clarify my points. Uh, and, you know, I think, you know, I don't know that Joe wants guests that he just wants to, to make fun of the whole time. Now, I think a better approach for Nick might be is to, because some people suspect him of being just a troll, a vegan troll and not a real vegan. And whether or not that's true or not, I, I can only guess. I, I suspect he is serious about his sort of veganism or his sort of delusion uh, with that regard. But I think the best chance that Nick has of uh, going on Rogan would be to be, a, to be a comedian. Now, I don't know how... You know, his act right now only probably consists of about three to four minutes. So he needs more material. So he's going to need to get more material, perhaps work his way up the ranks through comedy. And then by then, he might have a chance of making it onto Rogan's podcast. I may be mistaken on that. But anyway, <laughs> I, uh, you know, let me leave you a little clip to, to remind you guys on, on how nutty this guy is. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. I had a nice tomahawk ribeye. I'm feeling fantastic. Day six, World Carnival Month, strict beef, salt, and water. This is, you know, in, a, in opposition to, you know, when I'm uh, sort of using more dairy and, and eggs and things like that. I just feel fantastic on all, all beef. So anyway, that's my update there. Thought I'd provide you guys a little fun for, uh, uh, for Saturday, day six, World Carnival Month. We'll talk to you soon. Let me know what you think. Take care. Deep lead it. If the if the proposition is that you're responsible for less animal death, that's just not evidence for the claim that you're only eating two animals. That's just not evidence for the claim. If I only eat cows and I don't eat little shrimps and I don't eat chickens, it is very plausible that I'm eating less animal animals altogether at the end of the day. Plausible? Yeah, it's very I mean, plausible, plausible it's, sure, but I, whether it's or not mostly, it's, it's very, it's you get, you're going to need empirics. It's, it's you're going gonna... to need empirics to show whether or not it's probable. Plausible, I can just trivially grant. Of course, it's like possible that it's true. I think it would fall under the realm of common sense to most people. But you can sit in there and we could sit there. It's pretty shitty evidence. We could sit there and obviously trace every molecule that I eat and where it came from, as could you, which would be an exercise in futility because no one's going to ever do that. So we have to have some reasonable sense of groundwork here. If you eat only beef, there's less animals probably dying at the end. Not whoa, counting whoa, whoa, crop deaths, which you don't think count, right? You use the word probable, which is a statistical term. So I'm assuming that you have some statistics to back up that claim. Do you? Yes or no? Yes. A cow is much bigger than a chicken. Okay. Can I see those statistics? <laughs>